How's it going guys? It's me, the Techie Gamer, back with another video, and in today's video I'll be talking about the one hit headshot kills, and if they're fair or not. This reference is mainly towards level cap, but I have seen several sources that say the exact same. So essentially this debate is about people who think that the time for the time to kill for headshots in Rainbow Six Siege needs to be nerfed or changed so that some weapons require more than one bullet, and then there are the people who think that t the time to kill is fine. But anyways, let's hop into this. Now before we get into the discussing of the matter, I personally support not changing the time to kill. Why? It's because it doesn't need it. Let's be honest here. And I hate to pull the realism card, but that is what Siege was meant to be or designed to be. Saying that the time to kill is unrealistic is just wrong, especially for headshots. And to battle that argument, let me just say that not many people survive a bullet to the head. And the few who do, I'm sure they wouldn't even be in a condition to fight anybody. Let's be real here. If, you're, if, if you get shot in the head, you're either dead or balled up in a corner bawling your eyes out or just laying there suffering by the immense pain of having a bullet impaled in your face. Plus, I'm sure that in a video game, it would be more than just a flinch. But moving away from, you know, that gory nonsense, yes, I realize that games are completely different from real life. And to have a big portion of the game be realistic and have smaller, unimplementable, important things that conflict with the realistic things might actually ruin the game. Such as what most would instantly say, the one-hit headshots that conflict with the overall gunplay which might not be extremely realistic. And as much as I see what people mean by this, I don't think that having this short time to kill is at all ruining the game. I wouldn't call this an advantage or a disadvantage because, well, you can do it as well and the other guy can do it, so, you know, you can both do it. It's not that bad. But, but nerfing, on the other hand, actually might ruin the experience. You see, this whole one-hit headshot thing actually plays a bit of chance or gambling. It actually encourages more tactical and planned approaches, which is, you know, kind of the point of the game. Uh, for example, and I actually got this example from a YouTuber, so uh, I will put a link to his channel and, you know, his video in the comment or com description below. But he does a pretty good emphasis on this whole debate with this one example. So, uh, which is, say that you're about to enter a room and you have this 1v1 situation. You both know where each other is and you both have the same skill level or perhaps one is better, it really doesn't matter. And you both know that you have, you know, a good amount of chance to kill each other. Now add that gambling effect with the headshot. You might risk dying even though you may or not have a better skill level than the other person. So then, knowing that, you are forced to plan and be tactical. This is what I'm talking about. If the most skilled person didn't have to deal with this headshot thing, nobody would really stand much of a chance. Even though, yes, they could plan and be tactical, but because they were planning and bring the element of surprise, that extra gambling effect went to them as they were able to kill them. But hey. I'm not saying that skilled people won't have much of a chance either. If you're good at the game, you're more likely to hit that headshot. But for the most part, I understand why Ub Ubisoft made the game like it is. The game wants you to have a tactical approach. This game isn't like your normal Call of Duty or CSGO or Battlefield even. The game focuses on planning and technique and working with your team to control a situation rather than what most games imply, and that is based on skill. It's kind of like Battlefield vs. CSGO. In terms of firefighting, reflexes and general aiming slash skill is more benefited in Battlefield. However, recoil and controlling the accuracy of your weapon will benefit on CSGO the most. No difference here. Um, now while I do say that the game is fine in its current state, I do agree with the fact that some guns especially of smaller caliber and, you know, for, from farther distances, 
should be changed to fit realistic measures, but in general, for pretty much any gun, especially close range, with high caliber, that should be a one hit kill. No question. But anyways guys, that is my take on this whole time to kill battle. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, what you guys think on the matter, and tell me why you should or shouldn't have the, t the time to kill for headshots nerfed. And I'll feature my favorites in my next video. But with that out of the way guys, like the video if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I will see you next time. Peace.